Hello, Pierrono. Hey, everybody. How are you, very bro? Good. I'm very good, Christian. And I'm good. It's a nice day today. Yeah, very nice day. Yeah. Like We're gonna learn how to catch the water correctly, how yeah. to pull underwater for freestyle correctly to be more effective. So today we are making a video to explain how underwater for freestyle you can put your arms and move your stroke to swim faster and stronger to have a better efficiency of movements. Yeah. Today we will speak about pulling, how to be efficient in the water, how to pull a lot of the water and how to be strong in the water. Okay, okay. So, so we got we got a lot of um, viewers, beginners, they, they are swimming decently yeah. but they are struggle to improve their timing. Yeah. This is mostly due to the wrong movement underwater. Yeah. So can you show me what is usually a wrong movement underwater? A wrong First, you don't stretch enough on your arms. So you don't tense your shoulders, you won't be strong. So you pull, you pull straight, so you keep your arms straight. You pull down in the water, you don't pull back. If I want to go in this direction, I need to pull back. Most of the time, beginners are pulling straight. Pulling straight and they stop the movement here. So they so don't pull it all the way. They don't finish the movement. No, so they don't pull it, pull it all the way. So going too straight, going too deep yeah. and not being big enough in terms of yeah, movement. Not strong on the arm because they don't tense. Can you show me uh, when you swim how it looks yeah. like for, for a beginner? beginner? Okay. Yeah. So they can have, I show you with the good rhythm, eh? the good rhythm on your arm, but how you can be not efficient in the water. Yeah, good rhythm but wrong underwater movement. So I can see there is no acceleration after each movement. Yeah. Your, your speed is constant, pretty slow and constant. Yeah. To be a mastering this freestyle stroke, you need to accelerate to every time you pull, every time you accelerate and you go faster on the front. Yeah, you need, you need to be strong on your arm, you need to tense your shoulders. The most important is your shoulders. You can you show me how it looks like to be, from what you did, improving yeah. with a better catch, a better power stroke underwater and to, to improve? efficient in the yeah. water on the yeah. Okay, for a full stroke. Alright, so like the difference now is like you accelerate the movement underwater, yeah. pull stronger underwater. Can I see? Slowly underwater, it looks like. Yeah. Stand or uh, swim. Yeah, yeah, you can stand or swim. Okay. Oh no, you are moving your hands non-stop, you catch straight, can you, can you explain to me what yeah, you are so doing? First step, when you come forward, the first step is to tense your shoulders. If you don't tense your shoulders, you won't have power to pull strong in the water. First, it's to tense your muscles, you know, it's like an elastic, when I stretch the elastic, it gives me the power when it's... So you want to tense, you mean you want to stretch forward? Yeah, forward. You so stretch your shoulders forward, yeah, you can and see here becomes strength. Then, I will just bend my elbow and go deep in the water. Okay, so you I don't move my shoulders at the beginning. The first step is the most important. I just bend my elbow and go deep in the water. I keep my hand front of my shoulders. Okay, so basically, right, this shoulder stays here. Yeah. Now you start to go down from, can I see from the beginning? So yeah, you catch bend. from here. You I will go just bend my elbow and go deep in the water. Okay, so you get one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And you can see now I'm strong on my arm. So yeah. you have the power to pull the water with your arms yeah. and your lower arms yeah. and, and your my hands. Hand, of course. So you I have use three, all my arms. You have three segments yeah. of your body you're gonna pull water. Yeah. If I use only my hand, actually I have a very no, little I don't power. Have enough power. The goal is to use all your arms, use your shoulders, from the shoulders to the end. I 
can see that. So after you catch the water, your hand is going inside. What, what, what are you doing? No, the goal for you, if you want to keep the balance, is to keep every time your hand in front of your shoulders. Okay, so sure. Yeah. If I pull on the side, I lose my balance. But when you... Okay, so show me the movement. I bend my elbow, keep my hand in front of my shoulders. Okay. I deep in the water, then I pull all the way. But when you pull all the way, your hand is going in the middle a little bit. Like here? Yeah, here. Here, but here. keep staying in front of my shoulders. Let me see. Oh, I see. So your hand's actually on the axe of your shoulder, and then you are pulling with this, and then you pull after behind to the end. And you finish. How you finish? You pull, I pull, finish. pull, pull. All, I pull all the way to the back, and very important, my hand up in the sky at the end. Okay. Don't turn your hand, or you will be too tense to come forward. Just keep your hand. So you finish, your hand stays on the axe of your shoulder, you yeah. pull acceleration all, all the, the way, way to the end, the and then from and that moment... The then I keep my hand back, I put my elbow up, I relax and I come forward. Yeah, that's the video we did about the relaxed yeah. stroke. Yeah. So can you show me underwater how to catch the water? Yeah. Accelerate with the power. First step, dance your shoulders, stretch as further as you can, then bend your elbow, bend your elbow, don't move your shoulders and power. Acceleration, acceleration is after the acceleration is after we pass the shoulder yeah you start pump and then you will go all the way so. okay so i catch i catch i catch i feel powerful yeah or near to my shoulder then i accelerate yeah. to the end and don't forget to go deep in the water to use all your arm in the ocean not going too shallow yeah okay my Pirono one more time that looks cool so you're telling me now you catch the water you yeah. go deep I have seen, I have seen different swimmer. They're they're swimming pretty decently, actually. They are not going so deep. They keep yeah. the elbows near to the surface. Yeah. How how this style, you know, they they, they just, just like this. Yes, kind of. They go here. Yeah. They do everything first, like you did. Uh -huh. They pull, and then instead of going, you see what I do? Yeah. They keep it near here. The elbows doesn't go down here. The elbow stays up here. Hmm. Is it still effective to be like this? It's effective, but not effective than the first one because you use just this part on pulling, just this part on the arm. So you don't pull a lot of water. When you pull like this, you just use this part to pull. Okay, so if I just put my elbow is too yeah. high, I will not use to pull that portion. Yeah. If I'm going slightly deeper, deeper. I will pull with that portion. That, yeah. that so the surface is. Oh, yeah. So my power will come from my hands, my forearm, arm, and my arm, my and my shoulders. Yeah. All right, I see. So you, it makes sense. Yeah, when you do a good stroke, normally when you swim like a long distance and you focus on the stroke, if you feel that it's painful here, that means that you are on the good uh, good stroke mm. because all is on the deltoid, these muscles. Okay, so can we just, for finishing this video, yeah. have a comparison with a beginner stroke underwater yeah. and without swimming, just for us to, to compare, yeah. from beginner to good, what is the okay. difference? Yeah. Tell me. Alright, so that's the beginner, the elbows. Oh, I see. You pull with your elbow behind, your hand is not, then you don't have the power. Yeah. And if I transfer myself to the good swimmer, the new catch is like here instead of here. And back to this instead of back to this. 
Okay, show me a good it's one. Not about your hand, it's about your, your arm. Show me. All right, Piero, I think it's great. I get it. I get it what you mean. Instead of pulling on you with my hand and my elbows down, now I learn how to go deeper with my hands, bring my elbow front as well, my, use my shoulders and and then I have the pull with all my arm instead of just my hands and elbows. I can feel it. I will feel more powerful, usually with the same number of strokes. Yeah. My timing will increase because I can pull more water every yeah. time I have a stroke. And you will become stronger. Like you. <laughs> Thank you, Pierrono, for the video. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Hope you like the video and keep practicing. Keep training. <laughs> keep practicing, guys. Don't forget to check out swim2fly.com and to download the Swim2Fly app on your phone. Uh, we hope to see you again soon. Ciao. Cheers. Bye.